What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and right now I have the Galaxy Nexus phone in front of me and basically I'm showing you how you can update to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean uh, basically on this phone. Uh, if you don't know how it works already, basically it rolls out in batches of I think a thousand. So only a thousand people are going to get this at a time, which means if you have this phone, you can be stuck waiting for weeks without Jelly Bean before they release it to your phone. So if you don't already know how to get this, I'm going to show you how to do it today, just to prove to you that I'm on Jelly Bean. There you go, Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Just going to uh, tap down and you can see I am on Jelly Bean. So, so I'm going to show you how you don't need to wait for your batch to be released. Uh, you can get Jelly Bean right now without waiting any longer. So let's get into it. Alright, so to do this you're going to need to open up your settings. So swipe down in the notification bar, tap your settings, and you want to head into apps. Once in here, scroll over so you get into all and scroll down until you see Google frameworks, uh, Google services framework right there. We're going to go into that and I'm not actually going to do this step just because I already am on Jelly Bean and I don't want to have to go through the whole process again, but you're going to click the four stop button right there and then clear data. And once you've done that, go ahead back, um, into the main settings tab, scroll all the way down to about phone, go into system updates and it will say last checked for update and it's going to say some ridiculous date. This phone, which is my friend Jeff's, uh, the date was December 21st, 1961. So if you see that, that's completely normal. Then you're going to click check now. Again, I'm not going to do that. And it's just going to check for an update like normal. And you should have the Jelly Bean update. Keep in mind that it may take a few tries. So if it doesn't work the first time, keep trying. It may take five or ten tries to get it right. And you will have to go through the whole process again, going back into the Google service framework and uh, clearing that again. But keep in mind, it's going to be a lot faster than waiting a few weeks for a batch to be released that is available for your phone. So again, if it doesn't work the first time, just try it a few times. It should work. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you a lot. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.